one of the most fascinating mysteries and also one of the most critically important mysteries of the Bible, which is found in Revelation, is about the kingdom with seven heads and ten horns. This kingdom with seven heads and ten horns is the kingdom of the Antichrist. It's the kingdom out of which the Antichrist rises to world power and out of which he dominates the whole world at the end of the age. We're going to find out something about this kingdom. We first find the kingdom with seven heads and ten horns mentioned in Revelation chapter 12. When John saw a vision which appeared in heaven, it was an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his head. Well, the red dragon is Satan and the devil. And from this passage, we see that Satan, the devil, has some ownership of this kingdom with seven heads and ten horns. Before we go any further about this kingdom in Revelation, let's look at the prophet Daniel, because it's from Daniel in chapter 7 that we find out the mystery about this kingdom with seven heads and ten horns. We'll find that the beast is a fourth kingdom that will appear on earth, and it will devour the whole earth. This is the kingdom of the Antichrist. Ten kings will come from this kingdom. After them, another king will arise and subdue three. So the kingdom will start out with ten kings, which would be of ten nations, and then there another king will come along and subdue three of the kings. So then this kingdom with still ten nations now only has seven kings, or seven heads. Thus, the kingdom with seven heads and ten horns. Another aspect of Daniel's prophecy in Daniel 7 is that the fourth kingdom is part of the beast kingdoms of Daniel 7. And the three beasts mentioned are a lion, a leopard, and a bear. Now let's look at Revelation 13, which talks about the kingdom of the Antichrist, the beast. The beast comes out of the sea, had ten horns and seven heads. The beast resembled a leopard, had feet like a bear, and a mouth like a lion. So we see that it has connections to the Middle Eastern kingdoms of Daniel 7. And the dragon gave the beast his power, throne, and great authority. Well, we learned that Satan owns this kingdom, but he gives the power, authority, and the throne to the beast, the Antichrist. Now before this kingdom with seven heads and ten horns comes to world power, first it's, we're told that it is dominated by this superpower called Mystery Babylon the Great. Mystery Babylon the Great, this woman, this prostitute, she sits on, dominates and rules the whole world including the kingdom with seven heads and ten horns. So let's get this relationship. Mystery Babylon and the seven heads and ten horns are different. In Revelation chapter 17, we begin to see this relationship between this woman and the kingdom of the Antichrist with its seven heads and ten horns. Again, the seven heads are seven leaders. The ten horns are the ten nations that originally formed that kingdom. And in Revelation 17, we're told that the woman sits on the beast with the seven heads and ten horns, thus dominates the beast with the seven heads and ten horns. Mystery of the woman and the beast she rides on with the seven heads and ten horns, which is just kind of a restatement. The woman begins by dominating the beast kingdom of the Antichrist with its seven heads and ten horns. But then something else happens, which we're going to see in just a minute. So let's review this situation. We'll see to the left here that the woman, Mystery Babylon the Great, sits on and dominates the beast kingdom with the seven heads and ten horns. Now to the right, here's some characteristics of these kingdoms. Well, the woman, Mystery Babylon the Great, the superpower, she has become home for demons, evil spirits, and she has accumulated excessive luxuries. The beast kingdom with its seven heads and ten horns, which we see from Daniel, is like Babylon, Medo-Persia, and Greece. In other words, 
the Middle East, that says she hates Mystery Babylon the Great, but Mystery Babylon sits on, dominates the Beast Kingdom to begin with. So in Revelation 17 and 18, we see that Mystery Babylon starts out by dominating the whole world, including the Beast Kingdom, with seven heads and ten horns. But then, the Beast Kingdom, that hates Mystery Babylon, destroys her in one hour and brings her to ruin. So this Middle Eastern Kingdom, that's like a lion, a leopard, and a bear, Babylon, Medo-Persia, and Greece, who hates Mystery Babylon, brings her to ruin this country with excessive luxuries. This mystery of the kingdom with seven heads and ten horns is potentially one of the most important end time prophecies that we need to be aware of. The kingdom with seven heads and ten horns is the kingdom of the Antichrist, with which will rise to world dominance at the end of the age. And we also can see that this kingdom has a relationship with other superpowers that are coexisting at the time and the final outcome. 